that Jesus shared for me one day. You know, it's interesting how that it never loses its power. He died that we might live and then that we might live more abundantly. And to think years and years ago the blood that he shed is still just as effective today as it was then. That's a blessing. It never loses its power. It flows and it goes. Truly we thank God indeed for each and every one of you pressing your way out tonight. We say good evening and may God bless you. Give an honor to God and to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to the ministers of the gospel, the deacons that are assembled, to the congregation, and our visitors tonight, we say good evening and may God bless you, truly. Thank God for the scroll which reads obedience, love, reverence, and respect that is first to God, then to leadership, and then to one another. Thank God for the church of God, the standards, the principles, the teachings, the doctrines of Christ. We thank God for the late founder and his companion, Elder Lightfoot Solomon Mishaw. Two beautiful people whom God fixed up with his word one day. Sent him into the world and they preached and taught the gospel. He was known as the happy and my preacher. His broadcast started off with happy and my with my redeemer. Singing along life's way. Telling all about Jesus. Truly it has been a blessing to have the knowledge that he gave throughout the course of his ministry. I was driving a group of elderly people one day out to Jamestown and began to tell them about the farm and the vision of the elder. And when I mentioned the name, this one man jumped up in the middle of the bus, said, I know the man, I know the man. He says, my father used to broadcast the broadcast throughout our whole neighborhood every Sunday morning. Isn't that something? He was about 80 to 90 years old. And his father would broadcast the Sunday morning broadcast of the life of Solomon Mishaw, the happy and my preacher. They had speakers set up throughout the whole neighborhood. His father had the radio. And his father would broadcast the broadcast throughout the whole neighborhood. So you cannot find anyone that is 90 plus years old that have not heard of the man. He did many, many, many wonderful works. And the radio evangelist work that he did years of broadcasting over the radio has been known as one of the greatest. And so we thank God for the man, life with Solomon Mishaw, because he truly did teach us how to get out of sin and then stay out. We thank God for this being another Friday night 
First Friday night is question and answer. We have been speaking on marriage in the white dress. A lot of questions have come about. People have inquired and asked, and after the service was over, one asked, when is part two? Well, part two is tonight. There is so much to this because it is of God. God ordained it, he sanctioned it, and he set it to be. And you find that anything that God has ordained, the devil tries to mess it up. Just because he said it's honorable, the devil want to mess it up. But you know, church, he can't mess it up. He can mess with it, but he can't mess it up. Because if the two people who choose to be united in holy matrimony, the devil can't mess it up. He can mess with it, but he can't mess it up. Why? Because it's honorable in all. And we thank God indeed for the standard of living, for the different questions and answers and the different comments that came forth on last week and some by way of internet. <clears throat> One from Canada said it was very interesting. I got your message and they're getting ready to get married this year and found it very interesting. A lot of people don't have this depth of knowledge when it comes down to marriage and the importance of marriage and the white dress. It is designed and it represents purity. And one was asking the question of why is so much emphasis placed on the woman and very little emphasis on the man. Well, the woman is the mother of all living. And God is looking for the holy seed that will come forth from. The woman carries that seed. She nourishes that seed. And she brings that seed forth into this world after nine months of conception. And then the life of training that seed in the admonition of the Lord begins. And the attitude of the mother plays a very important part in that child's attitude when it grows. And so God is concentrating on the mother. And if you notice, when Christ was born, he was born of a virgin. Amen. Some people want to say it was a young woman, but my Bible teaches me that she was a virgin. He was not born of fornication or adultery. He was conceived by the Holy Ghost. And therefore, God has sent forth his only begotten son into the world, born of a virgin, because God plays very much emphasis on the virtuous woman. Amen? Amen. So we thank God indeed for each and every one of you pressing your way out tonight. Sister Afton's family is out with us tonight, and that's a blessing. Amen. Others have inquired of being here, and some could not because of whatever reason. Some say traffic. It's a bad day to be on the road, church, realistically. But nevertheless, we thank God for those that have pressed their way because it truly is a pressing way. And so we thank God for